We need to get our heads in the cloud if the chief executive of Microsoft is right. At the moment, most people at home have their software, like word processors and spreadsheets, and all their data actually stored on the disk drive of their computer. Most businesses have a network linked up to servers where the company software and data is all housed centrally. But cloud computing means you can do away with all of that and store everything up there in the cloud, access software from up there too. In fact, that cloud is a third-party storage facility, which you access over the internet. Google have been doing it for years, and lots of other small companies have too. But will Microsoft's excitement now about the cloud be a game-changer? Or will fears about how secure your data is in somebody else's hands mean it never really takes off? Here's our technology correspondent, Benjamin Cohen. Anyone who uses Facebook and almost all personal email services is already tapping into the power of cloud computing. They just don't know it yet. All of those Facebook photos and all of those emails are actually being stored in what's called the cloud. The head of Microsoft is in the UK to evangelize about the power of the cloud. He argues that it's the future for all technology users, from homes to the world's biggest companies. Nobody knows what this is or what it means exactly. Cloud, blah, 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 blah. But why are Microsoft so keen to talk about the cloud? Server rooms like these are at the heart of millions of businesses. Machines powering email, documents and data backup often running expensive Microsoft software, but it doesn't have to be this way. This used to be a server room powering multiple offices of a relatively big business, literally bursting to the brim with computers, but now they've all been cleared out. Because millions of businesses are going in this direction, moving their processing and data storage up into the cloud. So what is the cloud from a business perspective? The cloud is simply a metaphor. It's a virtual storage and processing shop. So instead of businesses having to buy their own IT systems, the cloud suppliers provide them online on a pay-as-you-go service without businesses having to have the hassle of maintaining systems themselves. This advertising agency has jumped into the cloud, ditching Microsoft's email, Word and Excel spreadsheets and replacing it with Google's, a product given away for free or low cost to many businesses. We took 40 servers out of our infrastructure as a result of the move to Google and that is just a number of headaches solved and it's now being managed on a scale by people who are professional at it that we just couldn't have dreamt about doing internally. The two things that are absolutely clear about the cloud is the cloud will open up a whole new range of, of opportunities to use computing in more valuable ways. A whole new set of opportunities for people to go out and build companies and make money off of the back of their creativity around information technology. The British government is currently considering how cloud-based systems could replace or speed up complex IT programs like the NHS. Online retail giant Amazon are working with the US government on cloud solutions. And they often cite cost savings of up to 75% or more. Millions and millions of dollars are being saved and you can spend them somewhere else just by becoming more efficient and at the same time delivering the service much faster. But governments farming out data to the cloud does bring security fears. Because as soon as you start pooling computing and data in new and interesting ways, really defining and really being careful about laying out who owns what data and how it gets controlled and how it gets used is a fundamental responsibility of every participant uh, in that chain. Later this year, Google will unveil a free rival to Microsoft Windows operating system, completely based on the cloud. Today, Microsoft counteracted with a big push on their own cloud system to businesses. And today, Steve Barmer promised an iPad rival by Christmas and a rival to the iPhone launching in London next week. And that's it. Till tomorrow.